Hello, folks, and we are back with Grand Strategy Saturdays, where every week the Templin Institute guides one nation or another to glory in a variety of various games. And I am joined by the voice of the Institute herself, live from Bangkok, Larissa. Larissa, how you doing? <clears throat> Uh, the Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. Thank you. Now, Larissa, you're a voice actor, and you always sound great. I think that's why people like our, our channel so much. But you sound even better than ever. Have you have you done something different? What's what's happening over there? Uh, I'm. Uh, it's 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 the it's the water in Thailand. It's 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 great for your the voice. Oh, I did not know that. That's interesting to find out, though. Thank you. Okay, for those of you paying attention, that is in fact not Larissa. That's our friend Schlipschlap. How's it actually going, Schlipschlap? Also good. Also not in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. All right, so we're playing Kaiserreich. Now, you're slightly excited for this, I'll say. Yeah, uh, I may not compare to Larissa in any sense, really, but uh, I am very interested in this game, so that's something. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, I'll take it. So, uh, I don't know, you were watching last week when we were trying to play as Canada, and it didn't go great, so let let's try this again. We're gonna we're gonna pick somebody else. So who do you got in mind? And actually, if you're in chat, uh, who should we play as? Uh, yell it out, folks. As loud as possible. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I I am up for like more oddball countries myself. That's how I. I'm I'm a hipster, you know, when it comes to. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I played as the Netherlands before. It was cool. That's that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But uh, I'm I'm up for most most countries, I'd say. For those of you in chat, the only people we won't play as, or countries rather, are Russia and Germany. Russia because I play them all the fucking time, and we just did them in Civ. And Germany because it's way too complicated, and I've always failed. <laughs> Maybe this time's the time. People are saying Canada. People are saying Australia. Lots of Australias. Okay, A fuck it. Of... Do you want to yeah, go to Australia? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how that goes. I've actually, um, I've never played as Australia, and I'm really bad at naval combat, so... Oh, good. It's like, perfect. Perfect choice. Oh, maybe this is a bad idea, though, because I do want to actually, like, go somewhere in this. <laughs> we can split the difference and do Austria. Yeah, the the other Australia. Yeah. I think that's... Is, are people in chat going to get mad, though? That's the thing. Well, I mean, we have gotten a couple <laughs> Austrias in the chat. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do let's do Australia. You know, okay, fine. Yeah, all, right. all right. So you don't know the backstory to Kaiserreich, do you? Uh, no, not really. I'm gonna give you as brief a rundown as I possibly can. Uh, Germany wins World War One, which causes basically everything to collapse. Uh, the United Kingdom and France uh, have these communist or syndicalist revolutions. So. Uh, there's like now two versions of each country. There's like the uh, commune of France, which is in Europe, you know, but then all the French loyalists uh, fled to North Africa. Where they started their own France. Uh, meanwhile, same thing happened in Britain. The Union of Britain controls, um, you know, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Or no, I don't think they have Northern Ireland. But the point is there's the Union of Britain and then there's also the Dominion of Canada, which is where the royalty fled to. Yeah, yeah, I remember fighting that out uh, last week. Yeah, and that, that, you know, didn't go great. And then the rest of the world is completely crazy. Uh, and I'm sure we'll pick it up as we go along. So I'll read out the backstory to Australia. Nearly two decades after the Weltkrieg, that's Kaiserreich for World War I, Australasia still hasn't healed. Unbelievable catastrophic manpower losses and sacrifices in the Weltkrieg, all for naught, have led to an atmosphere of cynicism and hopelessness as the once great British Empire crumbled to pieces. The economy is a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a natural consequence of the fall of the UK and now the ensuing loss of exports that followed. The shadow of the syndicalist Melbourne commune still haunts the continent, but there are still plenty who haven't forgotten the empire and are ready to reclaim their birthright. So, like, it looks like there's a couple different choices on which way Australia can go. Either communist or syndicalist, rather. Or we can go back to the UK. So let's do it. Australia! Alright, yeah, let's go for it. Maybe we should play on Recruit. Like, the easy difficulty. Is that maybe the way to go here? Uh, I don't know. You might... Uh, Fuck it. Well, let's do regular. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. Go down with the sh with the ship. <laughs> with your like thousands of hours, you got to be able to handle it. I do have Hopefully. a lot of hours in this game, but they, like they literally said the country's a dumpster fire. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, in news events, I want to know everything because I love the news events in this game. All right, so here we are, Australia. <clears throat> Actually, technically, we're Australasia. Ooh. Because it looks like we have part of what is this, Papua New Guinea? I, I guess. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. we also have um, New Zealand. So, you know, we, we got a bunch of stuff. Nice. Okay. All right. So, first off, we'll do the standard science, which is just researching as much industry as possible because industry is good. Uh, and that's yeah. maybe we'll do here, one here. wild card. Wild card as in whatever you feel like. Yeah, because there's only two industry things you can research at the start, and we got three slots, so we could do like more ships, no, I guess. Enough. Yeah, let's do ships because we're an island, right? What What, what if we did uh, like we became an air power since we're so bad at uh, naval combat? Yes, we'll do tactical bombers because we already got like pretty good air power for the rest of the stuff. So we'll do tactical bombers. We we'll got the bomber fleet going. Also, sorry, folks, if you've been following, I think we had the Phantom 61, 21, and Alexuko 97, I want to say. Hopefully I got that right. And someone, I think, gave us bits, too. We've been kind of slow re responding to chat because, you know, Larissa's not here and she was good at that. Yeah, yeah. Better than me. <laughs> yeah, what are you good at, Schlip Schlap? What the hell is going on here? Well, I would like to mention that I did steal the air power idea from someone in chat, but oh, I really? can't find where that comment is now. <laughs> oh, man, I thought you were I actually was, smart for a second. Credit. Oh, God, no. Never never assume that. I was like, yeah, shit, that is a good idea. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've built civilian factories in every territory we have to try to boost the economy out of dumpster fire status. <laughs> to uh, a dumpster, like, light, light like a, flame. a smoldering dumpster. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we got the, the big choice, which I think is going to define the entire game for us. So no, no pressure here, slip slap. Oh, good. Okay, so there's the national uh, focus tree, which is basically like where we're guiding the country. And thanks to Nukes Den for following. So there's like a shit ton of options here. Um, I'll, I'll read them out. Like, I, I'm not overly familiar with Australia, so we'll have to kind of learn this together. Okay, so te uh, option one is a democratic Australia, which would be to join up with the British Empire, Canada. Basically do what we did last time, only from the other side of the world. Uh, yeah. Option two, victory for the syndicalists, which would be turning to communism. Uh, option three. Oh man, this almost looks like fascist to me. I don't, I don't quite know what this means, but it's like <laughs> the people have spoken, and now it is time for Australasia to turn its back on the history of colonial oversight and cruelty. No longer will we fight wars in distant lands that shed Australasian blood to no good purpose. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh. That's... Nice and nationalist. Yeah. And then the last one, victory for the guard. Uh, <laughs> we will not abandon our traditions and our history for the sake of a flashy revolution. <laughs> and thanks... I like flashy revolutions, though. Yeah. Thanks to uh, Ket... Oh, God. Ketanak? 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 Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. And if we don't want to make that choice right away, we could postpone it by either focusing on the economy on like science, on the military, and so on. And thanks to Ricky Tiki Tavi for following. <laughs> That's a fun one. That's a great one. So if you had to choose right now, which would you go for? We got democratic, uh, communist more or less, fascist more or less, or all for the empire? Uh, I don't know actually, I, uh... Uh, I see that Nukesden recommends not going syndicalist because apparently some parts of Australasia break away from you if you do oh, that. Shit. But uh, otherwise, it's like the choices are democratic and um, uh, and for the empire, and I'm not really into those. Uh, they're they're yeah. kind of too. They feel boring. They feel boring. Not so, that I'm against democracy, but it's just a it's a standard choice. No, no, you you've revealed your true uh, leanings on yeah, this on my, the stream. My true allegiance. I kind of think we should do victory for the AFM and the the people have spoken. Fuck everybody. That whole thing. Yeah, I'm I'm just uh, at a blind curiosity of what will happen. Okay, uh, I just realized of... we can't actually make that choice that we have to wait for the election. So we'll start off with the economy and then we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, that's probably for the best, anyways. All right. So after seemingly thirty minutes of lead up, we're finally actually going now. <laughs> All right. Status of the Confederate. Oh fuck. I forgot I can do an Australian accent for all all of this. Oh uh, yeah, get those uh, confederate confederations to Darwin. Darwin, yeah. <laughs> Darwin. We gotta get that cattle to Darwin. Formed there in 1924 as a result of the Consolidation of Resources Act, the Australasian Confederation is the combination of the British Australasian Dominions, Australia, and New Zealand by crocky, as well as the territories of British New Guinea and Fiji. The God, now my Australian accent's turning into something. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, so. The years since the Wealth Krieg have brought great change and hardship, the war strained both society and the economy, which Austral Australia manifested itself into the short-lived Melbourne Commune, so we briefly turned syndicalist. I didn't know that. Although disowned by the then-ruling Labour government and put down by demobilized Australian Imperial Force veterans, this resulted in the implementation of the emergency protocols, the suspension of elections, and the appointment of William Birdwood as Governor General. Then the British Revolution of 1925 shook the Empire to the core, and Australasia was unable to prevent the loss of territories to the Germans. More than ten years on, the situation is still unstable as the economy remains stagnant, and domestic dissent continues to grow bold, with Birdwood, alongside his ally... Billy Hughes, Nationalist Party, barely holding things together. So yeah, there was a brief revolution, it was put down, and now shit's going down. Sounds pretty neat to me. Yeah. Alright, so, I, oh, low popularity, there's an election coming up. I don't, probably don't need to read most of this stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. So, elections have been suspended, however, they're coming back in March. Um, Governor General Birdwood was forced to make this concession when Bruce defeated Hughes, blah 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 blah. So yeah, uh, an election's happening, we have low popularity, People are ripe for change, I would say. Definitely. Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good about our, our like sticking with the, the fascist nationalist choice? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, isn't it just gonna end up that we like side with Germany then? I don't know. I I guess maybe. Yeah. Uh, also, Kerensky got shot in Russia. All oh, right. That I remember that. Yeah, and looks like the Senate has taken over. In in Russia. The Senate, really? Yeah, like I think you can. I think that's one option where they try to go democratic, but things can still go bad for Russia. Interesting. Hey, slip slap! Happy Australasia Day! Yay! Today, the nation Fireworks. is celebrating the Confederation of Australasia, and while the Confederation was not voluntary, <laughs> having been initially formed by the British invocation of the cons man, this is there's a lot of detail in this game. <laughs> it's a yeah, fucking holiday, and we're getting like a whole okay. Basically, it's still people are having a good time today. But not of their own free will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy thing we forced you into, guys. Yeah, exactly. I've also forgotten to, like, produce stuff, so we're going to put some factories into planes and shit. I think you forgot to do that last time, too, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, our, our king died. Or maybe he's... Yeah, he's still our king. Uh, George V has died. Uh, uh, rest in peace. While many in Australasia mourn, there are others for whom the king's death has resurrected memories of the Welt Creek and the disaster of Gallipoli in particular, and they have taken to the streets to demand a separation of the nation from the British crown. Wow. Kind of rude, guys. Oh, and... Uh, Typical, really. Mussolini, Valois, and Beria have started their own kind of syndicalist uh, philosophy that's basically just communism. Yeah, yeah. And Ooh, in Birmingham. Thanks to Anubis, Ku, K-O-U, for the bits. That was nice. Or the Schlumpschlams, rather. Now that we've got Schlumpschlamp here, I might as well call them what they are. <laughs> it always, like, whenever I pop into the stream, it always, it's like a weird reminder that you guys call it Schlumpschlams. Yeah. And I, I always forget, and then I'm immediately reminded. Good, good. Uh, Edward Edward VIII is king of Britain. Uh, there's some fires in Victoria. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, we got invited to the Imperial Conference of 1936. I think we should go. Uh, I don't see why not. I mean, we don't have any options, so we're, we're going. <laughs> yeah. Going back to Canada, boys. Welcome to the party, pal. All right, I'm taking this up to even... Oh, okay. Uh, the goal of the Empire... The Prime Minister of Canada gave a rousing speech of retaking Great Britain from the so-called Union of Britain. The British Empire cannot be called British without liberating our fellow Britons, be they English, Welsh, or Scottish, from the horrors and tyranny that exist within the Union of Britain. Great Britain will be liberated and free. They mentioned, like, Britain a thousand Ooh, times in that sentence. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to try to resurrect or resurrect the British Empire? Are we Are we doing it? Uh, I, I, I don't know if I care about the British Empire. Well, if we say, like, three cheers to the Empire, we get a bit of political power, and we can always change our minds later, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can cheer for them. Let's let's go for it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost us anything not to be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and thanks to Drez Mendius, the bits. Okay, uh, the Indian Empire. The delegate from Delhi has just stood up and delivered a stirring speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they want to liberate India, 
and should we just say for India and the Empire? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I feel like the Australian delegation is just like goofing off in the back, like <laughs> throwing shit, and then whenever <laughs> someone yeah. stops talking, they just like cheer. Yeah, um, exactly. It sounds that's great. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what we're doing, and we got enough political power to make a choice here. I don't know if we can actually do anything. Um. We can add an industrial company, which will help with industrial research. So we're going to do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, the fires in Victoria are out. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we were all pretty concerned about that one. Uh, the final speaker of the day. Oh, it's our delegate. Uh, he's talking about science. We're big fans of science. Okay. Good. Got to oh, get that uh, uh, Australian uh, space agency going. Yeah. <laughs> we will put a kangaroo on the moon, boy, Crocky. <laughs> uh, the stock market just crashed. Uh, it's looking bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God, indeed. <laughs> oh, okay. We actually got like an interesting choice we can do here. So we're working on the economy. So we can liberalize the economy, which will increase the popularity of market liberals. We can privatize the public sector, which seems to be like kind of, or reform the bureaucracy. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if we're going for the kind of nationalists, we should privatize stuff. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, are we are we set in stone in our plans now? I don't for, think so. No, I think we can still because this is just the economy, whereas the political. Oh no, I'm just different. Uh, like on a personal level. Oh, on a personal you level. And I are we are we going with that? I always enjoy rescuing the British Empire, but I've never I've never done the alternative, so I think we should stick with the nationalists. Yeah, all right. All right. Let's, yeah. Let's let's do new things. Almost all of the publicly owned companies are doing poorly. Holy shit, all publicly owned companies are doing poorly? <laughs> that's a lot. Wow. That's, uh, uh, yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, so uh shit. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. I misread this. This is privatize. I thought we were nationalizing. Oh, no, no. You're doing the exact opposite. Yeah. Okay, no. No, no, no. We gotta change this up. Maybe What's reform bureaucracy? That's usually a good thing. Yeah, that seems good to me. That gets us social democrats. The middle one gets us social conservatives. These are all kind of lame. Let's just do reform of the bureaucracy. Yeah. That seems good. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're doing that. Man, we're wasting a lot of time. Yeah, but it's okay. These are important choices. They are. Are they? Probably. <laughs> I guess maybe there's electoral gridlock in France they can't decide who's going to be their next leader there's a war in Afghanistan which we can help out with but by the time we get over there it's going to be over anyways right uh, guaranteed yeah just like last time actually wasn't it yeah we could train our army but we have no manpower so shit how do you how do you get manpower um we have to change our conscription law which will piss everybody off um uh -huh. But I'm pretty sure if we go that nationalist route, it'll happen to us anyways. And the election's coming. It's already February, so we got an election next month. Yeah, I mean, with with nationalism, you're going to have all sorts of people just signing up. You're going to be lining up down the street. Uh, t uh, the Labor Party's doing something. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. The, the, the leftists leftist. are squabbling. That's all we need to know. The Pope died. It's all they <clears throat> do around here. Bloody politicians, boy, crikey. Oh, hey, look, we made peace with <laughs> Afghanistan. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, the Australasian Guard. Uh, oh, hey, I think this might be us. Originally formed in 1925, the Australasian Guard is a staunchly nationalist and jingoistic movement which traces its route ba or roots back to the paramilitary organization the League of National Security comprised a former serviceman returning from the Weld Creek who helped put down the 1925 Melbourne Commune. In the years following the Melbourne Uprising, the Guard has continued to support the government, with many supporters joining the expanded security forces, blah, 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 blah. The coming return to democratic rule has caused an upset amongst the far left, or far right, however, who fear the reemergence of the long-suppressed labor movement. So basically, oh man, uh, the Guard will not take place in the elect or not take part in the elections. Really? So what does that mean? If they're not gonna, maybe there's gonna be a coup. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that that yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. What yeah, in terms of that, I feel like we're we're probably taking the like the wrong side. That the people wanted a revolution and these assholes put it down. Yeah, it's cool, sounds like it. All right, here we are. The first free elections in over a decade, which many are calling Bruce's election, 
looks set to return a majority for the United Australasia Party. However, uh, Labour and country parties are campaigning vigorously while the nationalists struggle to retain their core vote with the left, blah, 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 blah. So, I don't actually know what the right choice is. I think we want... I don't know. I don't know the difference between each. Yeah. Um, in fact, it might not matter. Because we can't vote for the guys we want. So... The, the closest one. You know what we could do? Country party, maybe? We could do the Australasia Labor Party, which is the communists, and maybe that'll force the nationalists into action. It'll also decrease Ooh. our stability. So we could try to fuck over Australia in order <laughs> to get... destroy them. ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> Should we do Australasia Labor? I... Yeah, okay. I like where this is going. This is, a, is an interesting strategy. I've done it with Russia a few times to get the Soviets in as quickly as possible. Nice. Let's hope it works here and we don't just... Oh, I think it did work. And have no idea what we're doing. The Australasian Guard has emerged from the election far stronger than when it went in. Eric Campbell's center party, while failing to take many parliamentary seats, did manage to secure a large percentage of the popular vote, mostly at the expense of the Nationalists. Despite this, the lack of a coherent strategy, as well as a hostile media reception, were clear hindrances. Okay, so... I don't know if that helped us. Yeah, maybe. Also, uh, we are slightly reading the chat, it's just difficult. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to read on this, in this game, and yes. in the chat. Okay, I think it happened, Mr. Slipslap. The Australasian Labour Party National Executive met today in Canberra. After being swept into office in an unexpected result, John Curtin now has to decide which direction to take the party and the nation. However, there is a schism opening between the different wings of the party, blah, 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 blah. Uh... Oh, man, okay. So this could go even worse. We could c declare ourselves syndicalists. Or we could expel the revolutionary, so we could get rid of democracy. How do we get the guys we want in? That's what I want to know. Did we already yeah, screw this up? Yeah, I think those are both not what we want. Shit. All right, I guess we're going somewhere else now. Yeah, we all, all stability has gone down as well. How do we get victory for the AFM? Is someone in chat telling us what to do? Because that would be good. Maybe we should re-save re our thing here. Have to wait till 1939 to get the guard. Really? That's what uh, Super Communist 29 says. I see. Do you think we? Do you think he knows what he's doing? I sure hope so. Okay. Well, <laughs> should we just <laughs> declare ourselves a syndicalist republic and see what happens? Okay. Wait. Uh, Nukes Den guard is 1939. AFM is different. Oh. It was the second election to get them. You know what? Let's uh, let's load the game back up again. Oh man, doing the unthinkable, resetting time. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Oh. Should we expel the revolutionaries? <laughs> I think that's what we got to do. Let's just see what happens with with our choices now. All right, this is a mess, but fuck it. It sure is. Uh, let's just not want anything and just, uh, do what our gut says from here on out. Okay, one thing we did bypass was a democratic Australia. Oh no, shit, I think we did the wrong thing. Hmm. Fuck it, let's reload. What's, what's the problem? We accidentally went democracy. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> we could just be democratic. No, we're, we're reloading, man. Okay. Man, see, this is what happens, uh... It Never... takes so much pre -play. Oh no! The game just crashed. Oh, wait, no it didn't. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Now people are saying we can still take both, and other people are getting mad at us for sucking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd be mad. Alright, there's gotta be some way to do this. Oh, you can switch off Democratic in 1939. Okay, so we'll just stick with Australia. The United Australian Party, right? I think that's the way Sorry, to go. Alright, fuck it. Bruce's election, after all. Yes. All right, the Australasian guards pissed off. Pope is not alive again. <laughs> All right, now we did a new governor general. We got our old friend William Birdwood. We can have an Australian governor general, which seems like a good idea, or we can invite the royal family. I say fuck the royal family, and let's go with an Australian. Yeah, definitely. All right, our popularity is average. Uh, there's maneuvers in the Carpathians. The Romanians are. Doing some stuff. Who cares? Our stability is increasing. The syndicalists are angry. 
as angry as chat? Who can say? <laughs> no one is as angry as chat. <laughs> it's stressful, man. <laughs> I'm used to playing this game when my decisions don't... Oh, our stability fell, too. Oh, crap. Aren't judged by the many? Yeah. Uh, the communists are doing some stuff. I'm going to use communists and syndicalists interchangeably here. And I know they're not the same, so please don't get mad at me, but it's just easier. Because syndicalists is hard yeah, to say. Yeah, it is easier. See, I'm not exactly sure what the strategy for Australia is. Because um, we have no manpower. It's not like we can invade anybody and steal their manpower, so I don't know. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. They seem somewhat segregated from the rest of the yeah. action. All right, we're going to continue on our, uh, what do you call it, thing, economy path. We're going to develop some minerals and whatnot. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, our stability increased a bit. It seems to be going all over the place here. Research some radios. How's chat doing, Mr. Slipslap? Uh, pretty good. Alrighty. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, not much has uh, has happened. Uh, this is Slipslap. That is, we we have uh, Gaithin thirty five asking who the other disembodied voice is. Ah. I'm just a random friend, basically. I wouldn't say friend. Yeah. I'd say best friend. Oh shit! You got me. I think we should do the opposite gag, because with Larissa, we always say that we're not friends. With you, I think we should be super friends. Ooh. I'm into that. Yeah. It would be a nice change. I want support from the... From the <laughs> you want friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, St. Phoenix One, who is an Aussie, uh, lives in Melbourne. Nice. Uh, he's very mad because he's saying, we aren't commies. Grr. We almost were. <laughs> yeah, we sure, we sure almost We came this close. <laughs> Saint Phoenix, you you could have been communist. And thanks to Honky Express for for following. It's a good man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna research. Okay, we can do concentrated industry or dispersed industry. I think we want dispersed because we are not gonna have a lot of factories, so we want to be able to change stuff around without losing efficiency. Yeah, dispersed it is. All right, sure. I know Dispersed used to suck, but I think they buffed it a bit, so. <clears throat> uh, to Darkworm here, um, asking what happened to the Canada playthrough from last week. Don't worry about it. It, uh, Yeah, it kind of got abandoned. Uh, for various reasons, really. Yeah, mostly because I suck. We did some more national focus stuff. We've unlocked the wealth of our great country. Now we're going to do uh, more building slots, I guess, or new railways. Let's do railways. Nukesten saying, uh, concentrated is better if your factory works on a line over 500 days. Otherwise, dispersed is better. Yeah, I think we made the right choice then, because we're going to be switching. Like, we don't have a huge army, so we need to produce like 10,000 tanks or anything. Yeah, true, true. Uh, Annie Kenny was elected chairman of the Trade Union Congress of Britain. Who cares? They're on the other side of the world from us. I should look at our fleet, actually. Like, do we have a, a military of any size? Yeah, do we have anything? Yeah, we got... It looks like our, our main fleet has antiquated everything. We've got one aircraft carrier, two battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and 22 destroyers. And everything but the destroyers and the heavy cruisers and the battle cruisers look like they're pretty old. I mean, it'll do the job, but this isn't like, this isn't looking great. Send out the dinghies. We also got a submarine fleet, um, older, older submarines. And actually like our ground forces are, are uh, not spectacular either. Um, a lot of garrison troops. Yeah, figures. Yeah, some cavalry. Yeah. Good old cavalry. Huh. Like, if okay, let's say we, we become nationalists. Who are we going to invade? Like, that's what I want to know. <laughs> like, can we win I against have, anybody? <laughs> I have no idea. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Our, our, I guess our goal is to become fascist. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how or why or what we're going to do with it. 
Well, what's interesting is we are right next to the Netherlands, um, which controls uh, Indonesia. No, this is Indonesia? Where is Indonesia? That's Indonesia, right? Yeah, that, that's definitely in Indonesia, yeah. Okay, Southeast Asia is my least familiar region. Uh, so we could take over, you know, this whole mess. Which I think is our, like, our primary option, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything better to do. But, uh, Cold Rage 20 saying, if you're going guard, you are still on taunt. Oh, really? That's interesting. Apparently, yeah. But, uh, the text doesn't They're make it seem like that. Super for the Empire, yeah. Oh, no, no, but we found guard is different from the AFM, though, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, in That's fact, right. yeah, I completely misread that. I thought Guard and AFM were just kind of the same thing, but we got Victory for the Guard and AFM. They're completely separate. I see. Oh, okay. I, 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 I do know this game. I've just never played Australia. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> That's why we're doing it now. Yeah, there's some shit going on in Siam. Yeah, it looks like the Siamese Federation, they look communist to me, is fighting it out with the Kingdom of Siam. Oh, a kingdom. Yeah. The Germans well, control Vietnam, that's kind of neat. So I think, like, our goal should be an Australian empire that controls Indonesia, the Philippines, maybe even, like, uh, Vietnam and Thailand and Burma, and maybe even southern India. That would be neat. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Uh... Some stuff's going on in Shanghai. Japan is at war with... Oh, shit! Oh, the man. Triads. Okay, so uh, what happened is after like Germany intervened in China and set up all these cities that were supposed to be separate from the main Chinese government, and the idea was that these cities would be free ports, um, but it looks like they were taken over by the Triads, I guess? The United yeah, Dragonhead like Council? Yeah. And now they're at war with Japan. Is actually the triads, uh, a.k.a. the mob, that's uh, that's running the business here? Or is this like a name so. for something else? That's pretty sweet. That's amazing. Because now Japan's at war with the mob. <laughs> yeah, we should... I wish we were playing the triads. There's a lot going that on. Were a thing. Indochina declared independence, so we got the Vietnam War happening. Whatever we do, we should support the triads. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Uh, our ideology has grown. We can support our current government, or we can just say, nah. I think we should say, nah, because we want to move on, so we don't want to go too far in one direction. Yeah, for sure. Yakuza, is that exclusively Japanese, or are there Chinese Yakuza as well? No, Yakuza is the Japanese mob, and then Triad is the okay. Chinese mob, etc. Gotcha. That's neat. They're fighting it out in Shanghai, I guess. I mean, the mob is okay, but I don't know how well they're going to do against the Japanese army, so. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess uh, they, they might be good at, like, guerrilla-style warfare in, in cities, anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Or they'll just run around with, like, Tommy guns. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Would be. You'll never take me alive, Emperor! <laughs> <laughs> We can modify our government again. I think we should do early mobilization. Actually, we're democratic. That might not be the greatest idea. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. Actually, <laughs> eh, we can get more manpower. Let's do... No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Wow, Isaac Isaacs. That's a hell of a name. Yeah, Isaac Isaacs. <laughs> <laughs> I think his parents were kind of cruel. Yeah. Okay, we've done some more decision stuff with the economy. A tree. We can either trade with the Commonwealth or seek new markets. Mm, I don't know. I think what, new what? markets, because like, we're going to kind of ease off on the whole Commonwealth thing soon, right? True, I suppose. Yeah. But what if our new markets end up being like Indonesia and Southeast Asia? Uh, well, they're saying America, Japan, Germany... Yeah, fuck it, okay. let's do them. Well, then. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. So I'm really interested to see how this... Uh, I guess there'll be another election in 1939, and hopefully that gets us the AFM. Oh, yeah, we need to get the paternal autocrats in charge. I 
I wonder if there's a someone we can appoint that would help us with that. I do love... Oh boy, um, that's a lot of ministers. Yeah, when you appoint them, they all have, like, uh, various, like, titles. I like flamboyant tough guy. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the Victorian Football League is doing its thing. Okay. Oh, hey! Not really a football guy. You know how you're saying you wanted to play as Estonia? You're dead. I wasn't paying attention. I think there was a revolution in Estonia, and they took over the Baltic. <laughs> Annex? Douche. Yeah. Oh my god, that's great. That's, uh, so Estonia is back from the dead. Go Estonia. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Oh, there's a war in China. Uh, Mongolia is going after the Ma clique. Uh, yeah, South, uh... South Melbourne won something. The football game. Oh, okay. Good, good for them. I assume they were a, a good team. They, oh. uh, they, they really brought their A-game this year, <laughs> and uh, they really dominated the competition. We're real proud. 110% execute. <laughs> yeah. Um, things are looking bad for Estonia. Uh, Germany oh. declared war on Latvia and Estonia to get back the United Baltic Republic. Oh, installed. yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's not looking great for them. Oh, well, remember Estonia. <laughs> They're glorious <laughs> one month. Yeah. Also, uh, Honky Express coming in with the goofs, an antiquated military, and paranoia about Indonesia. Is this 1935 or 2018 Australia? <laughs> Ooh, topical. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the uh, political strife in Australia right now, but uh, I bet that was a good joke, and I appreciate it. The uh, the triads got fucked over big time. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Uh, also, so did Latvia. So now it's only um, Estonia versus Germany, and the Japanese have taken over the uh, a lot of these Chinese cities. Or no, they haven't. They've given them to the puppet Chinese government. Yeah. That's run by Japan. That's nice of them. <clears throat> oh, shit! Huey Long was elected president of the United States. Um, Huey Long was like the 1925 <laughs> version of Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, you were telling, you were talking about me last week. Yeah, and I actually, I really hope he wins the Civil War because he's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> I hope so too. Huey Long is also uh, this like meme within the Kaiserite community. Everyone always yells out, "Every man a king," which was his slogan. <laughs> nice. Okay, we can end the depression. Finally, we have pulled ourselves out of the doldrums of depression. Australia can march forward. So we're we're. Moving forward on the economy front. All right, so I am going to see if we can get our uh, paternal autocrats in charge. And we can't. Because I guess you have to do that through elections. Okay. That makes sense. So what can we do? We'll appoint maybe a, a weapons manufacturer. Actually, no, let's do a ship something because we're going to be... Let's do fighters. You said you want to do bombers and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, we should uh, we should go Air Force. Yeah, uh, we got two. We got a heavy bomber and then two fighter manufacturers. I feel like we should do Confederation Aircraft Corporation because they got us better range, which seems like a good call. Yeah, definitely. All right, they're on the way. I wonder how we're elections in Italy. Who cares? Production wise, like we're still pretty fucking slow. So we're gonna stop making guns and build more planes. Sounds good. Yeah. Man, Australia is kind of slow to get going. Yeah, I'm not surprised, though, honestly. Yeah. Do we have uh, any any future plans for that manpower situation? Is that still uh, uh, I think we're going to have problem? to wait to the election, yeah. Yeah, fair we, we had We have briefly 20 dudes, but I think all our armies are undermanned, so like as soon as we get anybody, they're immediately sent to reinforce our current stuff. <clears throat> Um, if we're not concerned about being invaded, we could disband all our garrisons in Australia and put that towards, like, better stuff. Uh, that sounds like something that I would do. Yeah. But I'm also very bad. Also, Just, Estonia uh, got fucked over while we were talking. <laughs> yeah, well, that that was uh, going to happen sooner or later. Yeah. I've, I've already made <clears throat> peace with that. <laughs> 
I actually, I don't like garrisons that much because you can't move them around. They take up manpower. The chances, like, by the time we get invaded, we're already fucked. So, like, it doesn't... Yeah, it seems... I don't I don't see them being very useful. Generally. Yeah. All right, I'm going to disband the garrisons on Australia. Poor bastards are out of a job. Yeah, well, we got 10,000 manpower out of that. Holy shit. Wait, is uh, that a lot? I don't know what the... Nah, it's not really. The figures? Yeah, okay. Like, Russia loses that in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but maybe we can, like, start training some marine divisions. I think that would be pretty sweet. Oh, uh, Korea wants some help. From who? Us. Uh, they're thinking of holding a, a no. revolution against Japan. I mean... Oh, okay. Uh, what, uh... Yeah, we don't really care about Japan, do we? I don't know. It, it might be nice to fuck out with Japan just so they're not in a position to stop us. Yeah, that's If we what say I'm full support, though, we're going to waste 5,000 manpower, which we can't afford. So I think we should do the first one. We'll just give them some rifles. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good to me. Just just a little bit of help. Yeah. I mean, they're going to lose anyways, but at least we tried. <laughs> Okay. Australia continues to march along, this time without any garrison forces. We're, uh, very ballsy. Yeah. Balls for the walls down here, mate. Was that funny? I thought it was pretty okay. Yeah, I was thinking, I was trying to come up with, like, um something specifically Australian instead of a wall. Mm. But uh, I couldn't think of anything fast enough. Zolda95 so was, was wondering uh, <laughs> who's taking control of Russia. And it looks like Russia has gone democratic because they're sticking around as a republic. The Senate is still in, in charge. and So they're still... They're, they're making it as a democracy? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Russia? I know, right? <laughs> we also lost all our manpower again. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. My guess would be that what we do one of our divisions would need to be reinforced or something haiti declared war on the dominican republic i think it's safe to ignore that one we can probably move along. yeah i have no interest in that or hey slip slap happy australasia day hey another year goes by yeah 1937 we're getting there yeah, we really we're, need those 1939 elections, man. Yeah. Um, what can we produce? Oh, our ships still kind of suck. We gotta get, we gotta really get going, because I feel like we're way behind on everything. I, I would assume so. Um, okay, this is actually I, good. Uh, we got, we're finally getting to like the the meat of the industrial tree, so we can start getting ourselves new factories and shit, which is exactly what we need. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, what are, what, just any of them? Can we just, we just get all of them? All we of them. We don't which. have to make any crucial oh, yeah. choices. I think we can go all the way on this one. Okay. Uh, there's an illegal strike in Sydney. <gasps> That's what's not a, great. What's a, an illegal strike versus a legal strike? What, think, are, what are our strike laws? <laughs> <laughs> they're probably pretty severe, because we did have that problem with the syndicalists earlier, so we're That's probably true. not big on unions. <laughs> yeah. That's sad though. I'm always I'm always on the side of the workers. I don't like going the the nationalist route. Yeah, me neither. So it feels awkward, but I'm also curious of what happens anyway. I wish we could go like 19 like late 1930s Germany before everything kind of went nuts with the whole Nazi thing. Yeah. Cuz like remember when Hitler was just building roads and putting people to work? That seemed okay, I guess. <laughs> before he uh became an autocrat essentially. Yeah. And we could just skip the whole racism thing, too. I feel like that's the best of both worlds. <laughs> that would be good. All right. More industry research is coming along, so that's nice. Okay, let's start researching some boats, though. I'm going to do destroyers, because those are easy to make. Or well, easy-ish. I think Zoldi95 is rightfully saying that a lot of the stuff Hitler did was actually just copied over from the previous government, so we can't... Uh, you know, do stuff. We can't blame Hitler for the Autobahn. Not that we want to, I guess. <laughs> There's no speed limit. What, are they crazy? 
Yeah, I want to go there. Except I'm scared of driving, so I don't think it'd be really up my alley. <laughs> yeah, I would just drive like a normal speed limit anyway. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't feel comfortable going crazy fast. Serbia crowned a king. Who cares? Our construction's going very slow. Oh, hey, Civil War just started in America. So we can watch this unfold. In fact, I kind of think we should provide weapons to the Southerners. Except it doesn't look like yes. we can. Oh, that's Cause... a shame. I, I want to see that happen. Uh, we can send them some guns, but we're not producing any. Oh, no, we're, we're, we can't do nothing. Can't do nothing? That's a double negative. We can do everything. <laughs> nah, we, we can't. Uh, oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> we don't have enough divisions to send over volunteers. We don't have enough equipment to send equipment. It's just... <laughs> we can We're send them. Very... We can send them forty old planes, but it would do absolutely nothing. <laughs> so they'd just get them and be like, "What? What are we supposed to do with these?" Yeah, thanks, Australia. You really helped us out. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, uh, the Pacific states of America have the choice between a couple different flags, and they chose the ugly one. I hate it. Oh no, the the, the worst. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't blame you. Ooh, the Southerners picked a good one, though. I, I kind of like this one. It's okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of that one. And the combined syndicalists are, are, you know, eh. Oh, hey, the, uh, that's interesting. The Americans signed a peace treaty with, uh, uh, with the Pacific States. That was quick, weren't they... How long were they at war for? Not very long. I think when shit really starts to go down, the leader of the states can be like, you know what, let's just, we'll deal with them later. Oh yeah, yeah and actually, the Pacific states are now in an alliance with uh, the United States. Damn, alright. So it's, there's every likelihood that uh, the USA is going to win this one. Really? Speaking of uh, stuff, who's Jack Lang? Um... Yeah, some guy named Jack Lang. He's probably to do with something. He got punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, there's a lot of hatred between the syndicalists and other people. So the syndicalists are gaining some momentum in Australia here. Oh, well, that's the opposite of what we're trying to do. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, the southern states are getting fucked over big time. Canada took over New England, though. Uh, hey, memories. Just yeah. like just like last week. <laughs> Following in our footsteps. Uh, the Canadian government wants to form an Imperial Scientific and Academic Council. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, well, we'll, for... yeah. well, we'll, we'll think about it. <laughs> yeah. We'll get back to you on it. Yeah. Just don't, uh, don't go nowhere. How does the like, science and whatnot work in this game? Um... Hold on, because I think the game might have crashed, so i got to figure out what's going on first. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep, there it goes. It crashed. Well, that's Paradox for ya. Is it? Yeah, I, I mean... I don't remember having issues like that. They uh, they get a bad rap for uh, a lot of having crashes and stuff. Fair enough. So we'll get right back to this in just a second. You need a... Uh... <clears throat> classic technical difficulties post like i do says. i actually i want to replace display offline with like a guy with like a monkey wrench being like i don't know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go it probably also doesn't help that we're playing a mod so yeah that would probably do it <clears throat> in particular yeah i had this one thing happen in stellaris where no matter how far back i went in my saves as soon as i got to this one date it would crash on me Really? That's yeah. That's weird. That ain't great. Alrighty. So for those of you watching, the game is coming back up, so just give us a second. So, Corey, any... I mean, Slip Slap, sorry. Any plans for the weekend? Wow. I, I, would, I was so good on it, but I, I messed up. <laughs> also, no. Not really. Mm. How about you? Nah. It's funny, uh, between Larissa and myself, any plans for the weekend is a secret code. That means we've, like, we got nothing else to talk about and we're desperate for the conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's like talking about the weather. Yeah. Alright, let's give this another shot. 
I can't remember where we left off, but now we're loading up April. That's a nice uh, screen. Uh, like a background to it? Yeah. Okay, and we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, hopefully it won't crash again. That would be embarrassing. I would. All right, so remember this, the Scientific Council can that I want? Yeah, yeah. Imperial. Yeah, uh, the South still seems to be losing. Depending on how far back we went, the Civil War could have turned out differently, but it looks like it's more or less the same. Yeah, I don't think uh, it's going to change much from that. Yeah, with the Pacific states and the United States on the same team, I think. Uh... Yeah, they kind of they're screwed. Yeah. Basically. Mr. Zoldi, but, uh, thanks for coming. We'll see you later. So At least well, one of us is reading the chat, Mr. Slipslap. I try, and that's that's all I can do. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Try harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh that question earlier uh how does science work in this game oh um it's kind of complex basically you have um various uh slots that let you each research a thing um there's modifiers that allow research to go faster uh i can bring up the research screen real quick here there's like a bunch of different trees like there's the infantry tree the support company tree the armor tree artillery land doctrine naval naval doctrine etc etc um so yeah, I think what the Imperial Scientific Council will do was give us a boost to all other technologies that other people in the Entente have researched. So if Canada researches yeah. industry, we get industry. And thanks, Old95, for the bits. That was nice of you. So yeah, says, uh, yeah I actually want to see that. Yeah, that's that's not uh, <laughs> that's not the smart move. Someone needs to have faith in you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, like how how important would you say science is in this game? Oh, it's super important. Yeah. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Hold on. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Liberia did something there. That was weird. Uh, no, it's super important. Um, because the way battles work in this is it's like super complex, and I don't understand it at all. But the more the better equipment you have, the better <laughs> yeah. the modifiers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so. Also, um, industry research in particular is huge, so. Yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. Like, uh, you'll notice um, on our production screen right now, our production efficiency is only 50%. Some of that is because we don't have enough resources and we don't, have, we don't have the factories to spare. But it also is because our industry, like, the more research we do, the faster our efficiency will grow, etc., etc. And the faster the efficiency cap. I see. Okay. Yeah. We're finally getting enough factories, though, that we can maybe start to uh, import more stuff, but we'll have to see. Oh, you need factories to import stuff? Yeah, um, so how it works is... I hope I'm getting this right, because I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this game, but not entirely. So right now we have um, minus nine oil. If we were to trade, say, the Pacific States for oil, we'd export two civilian factories worth of goods, so... Oh, I see. Yeah. Which is actually... Not that bad a deal to get us oil, but, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I want to get, like, a bigger base of industry before we start giving it away, you know? Because uh, factories also yeah. build other factories. So right now we got 15 factories building one factory. And the more factories you got, the more you can do, etc., etc. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's focus on home <laughs> first before we, uh, you know, give away our shit. Australia first! Yeah, exactly. There's a communist revolution in Switzerland. Oh, shit. That's kind of neat. In Switzerland? That's Actually, no, it doesn't look like there was. It, maybe there was just some sort of riot because the market liberals are still in charge. Yeah. Russia is still ruled by the Senate. Russia hasn't done anything this game. They haven't... Uh... Yeah, I'm very surprised. Yeah, they, they went the Democratic Republic route, so who knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, really. One thing that's interesting, I did not know... The, oh, Civil War in Spain. We'll get to that. But did you know that in this game, and also real life, Switzerland has this, like, weird sort of executive power structure where, like, they have, like, a rotating president who's chosen from this, like, federal council each year? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, I, you did? No, I did not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought it was kind of neat. Yeah, that is interesting. Are they, uh, are they the only country with that sort of setup, I wonder? To my knowledge. Also, I've developed us uh, coal, aluminum, iron, and more iron so we can not need to export as much stuff. It cost us political power. Good. I thought it was worth it. Absolutely. I'm with you. Uh, although I don't know what political power does, other uh, than the obvious name. It just lets you, like, adjust your government. It's how we, like, increased our, mobiliz or our production and not production, mobilization and all that. Okay. Yeah. It's just, like, modifiers that help your government. And I also realized, remember how we wanted to trade with other people? Uh, when we have more political power, we can sign, we can send envoys to, like, Siam and South Africa and China and the Pacific States, who uh, I think is a good call. Improve relations? Exactly. Oh, hey, the U.S. is actually getting kind of fucked over here. That's interesting. Oh, shit, look at the Union State Co. They're actually yeah. doing well. Yeah, if the Union State can hold on to Texas long enough, they might actually be... Nah, see, the combined syndicalists almost always win because, like, the whole Chicago area is just full of factories. Oh, uh, yeah. So they can, like, outproduce yeah. everybody. I've never seen the Union State win without, like, heavy outside interference. Well, this could be the day. I doubt it, but sure, let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> A man can dream. Oh, hey, we're finally building positive manpower. We're up to 584 people. Oh, my God. We have so many people. <laughs> yeah, as long as absolutely <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> oh, God. I'm kind of concerned about what to do about our manpower shortage. Because, like, I don't know. One bad battle and our entire army is going to collapse, essentially. So. And what battle would not be a bad battle for us, really? That's very true. If you're in chat and know how to play as Australia, please let me know. Yeah. Maybe our Australian friends uh, are, <laughs> are learned in the ways. If they have inside knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Have we researched the boomerang yet? <laughs> <laughs> that's, ah, that's good. No, it's higher up on the tech tree. <laughs> We got uh, one uh, system philosophy saying focus on armor. Focus on armor? That could help. Uh, I don't know. It's like we're fighting in, in jungles. We got to do a lot of island hopping. Like I think marines are going to be the... Mm, that's true, actually. If we're, if we're focusing on Southeast Asia, then I think I would agree. Yeah, I think planes and marines. That's the way to go. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, Civil War in Spain. Um, it's a three-way war between the... Kingdom of Spain, Carl of Spain, and the Communists. This guy has a sweet looking hat. <laughs> yeah. That's uh that's real nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hell of a tassel. Good for him. Hot damn. But I feel like that tassel is almost so much that it, it might be overcompensating for his lack of hair. Oh shit, you think so? <laughs> yeah, really he looks do. bald, yeah. Whoa, I did not notice this. Ukraine what? went syndicalist. Oh. Khrushchev okay, took that over. Might... That's really interesting. Holy shit, yeah. Khrushchev taking Ukraine. That's that's neat. Yeah, so the Ukraine used to be part of the uh, German alliance. Oh, wait. It, maybe it still is? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, so the Ukraine used to be part of the whole Germany sphere, and now they're out. So Germany might be pissed off Ooh. about that. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, here we go. Syndicalism prevails in the Ukraine. Uh, da, 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 da. The famous Ukrainian syndicalist leader Nikita Khrushchev has led the Red Militias to dissolve the kingdom and declare the Ukrainian Socialist Republic. Oh yeah, here we go. The Germans just declare war on it. Or just declare it. <laughs> of course. So that's not going to uh, last long. Cold Rage 20 mentioning uh, there's an event that focuses uh, on getting rid of the manpower issue. Oh really? Well, I guess that's what we need yeah. to do next, right? Don't know when that event is then, but uh, we'll hope for it. Uh, event or doctrine? I don't know. He says event. Uh, I assume he means event. Okay. I should probably look over our, our thing here. Um, state of the army. Does anything get us... Hmm... 
Not that I can really tell. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there is. Um, if we go down the army path, uh, we can recruit more people, I guess. But the requirement is that, is that we're at war, so... Uh, okay. Well, that's not too big of a deal, I suppose. It makes sense. We might be able to get around that, though, if we go fascist or nationalist or whatever those guys are. Of course, yeah, naturally. Yeah. The French is still a republic, so that's nice. And thanks to Go Sharks 21 for following. Meanwhile, in America, it's uh, looking kind of interesting. Yeah, the syndicates are still taking over, but the Union State is still holding on, surprisingly. Yeah, like, uh, it's probably still going to be the, the North yeah, that can... wins, but... I can still see the syndicates winning, but uh, the the Union state there is, is holding on a lot better than I expected. Me too. I thought for sure the Pacific states and the United States were going to win this one, but I guess I was completely wrong. That's interesting. Okay. Also, uh, Fish Warden was is asking a question that I was also curious of. Yeah. Uh, there's like a fart cloud over northern Africa. Is there? It might be gone now. Uh, yeah, there's like a bunch of uh, sand particle effect or whatever. Sand a storm. fart cloud. Um, <laughs> it was pretty good. Part of northern now, Africa is impassable because um, it's like this desert, and there might have just been a little effect there to show that you can't. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee it, yeah. <clears throat> Don't worry, Fish Warden. I believe you. I saw it too. I just didn't want to mention it. <laughs> Attila the Buns <laughs> says, This is my first time watching a Templin stream. How good bad are they? Um... Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's the fart clouds back. Yeah, there it is. Well, we talk about fart clouds, so I mean, uh, pretty good. I assume they want to know good. how good at the game we are, and in that case, it's... it's. Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's let's not even talk about that. No, nah, let's not pay attention to the game. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when uh, when would be a good time to fight the Netherlands right there? Uh, I can't remember exactly how this is going to happen, but at some point, France is going to declare war on Germany, and then we got to hope that the Netherlands just gets bogged down in that. I think they're going to probably ally with the Germans, in which case they'll be taken over by the French. When that happens, Indonesia will be vulnerable, <laughs> and we can move in for the kill with our still non-existent <laughs> okay. army. Take advantage of the situation. Yeah, next time we can research something, we got to uh, research Marines. Yeah, I agree. Also, well, well, wait, something something weird is happening. Oh, that's super strange. Remember how Germany is at war with the Ukraine? Sure. The Ukraine somehow took over Belgium. Wait, what? I have no idea. So now Belgium is just screwed? <laughs> Well, it's still surrounded by allies, like Germany, who are going to help it. But I, I don't understand how... How is the Ukraine doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Ask Khrushchev. They must have had some ships out to sea when the war was declared. That used to be part of Germany, and then they just invaded Belgium. That's... Uh, that's yeah, maybe. Yeah. There's no, like, political maneuvering you could do to make that happen? No, no. Yeah, they must have had some ships in the North Sea or something, and then... Just decided to invade okay. Belgium rather than just, trying to make it back to Ukraine. It just worked. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But I mean, they're going to get pushed out pretty quick here, so it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Our oh, destroyers yeah. are finally researched, too. All right. Step one, research Marines. Step two, let's build some destroyers. Shit. We need more everything. Um... We sure do, yeah. We're uh, kind of rough. Rough start for Australia. Yeah, I think as soon as we finish the economy tree, uh, I'm going to start exporting so we can start building more stuff. Makes sense to me. Yeah. How's Jack doing? Pretty good. Uh, Fish Warden is... Uh... Criticizing you throwing the production lines out, out the window. Is he referring Whereas, to the uh, default ones, or is he just saying I suck? I don't know. Maybe both. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, 
Uh, and yeah, others are just discussing how the Ukraine has managed to uh, take take over Belgium. Yeah, part of Belgium. They got Bruges. Ooh. They are in Bruges. Meanwhile, the United States still looking kind of weird. Oh, the uh, the syndicalists have made it to uh, uh, Washington. Oh, jeez. Here we go. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Okay. Frank, uh, Frank F four five one wants uh, us to use our navy to invade Bhutan. Yeah, we'll get right on that. Yeah. <laughs> Medius. We'd have asking, to. Uh, what is the uh, what is the American Union state? And that's the that's the Huey Long faction, is it not? Yeah, it's like Donald Trump, more or less. Yeah. The Patriotic American Army. I love it. <laughs> of course, it's named that. Couldn't we just call it the uh, American Army? If they're in the army, it's kind of assumed they're pa no. We're calling it the Patriotic American <laughs> yeah. Army of America. See, it'll be interesting to see how well do the Pacific states do against the syndicalists, because if they hold them out long enough, that might give the Union state a chance to kind of do something here. You think so? I don't know. I think I think I think the syndicalists have won this one. Yeah, most likely. But it's still anyone's game. Why uh why is it that the North always ends up being syndicalist? Uh there's probably, I think it's because there's a lot of labor unions in Chicago and Detroit and other places. I, I'm not entirely sure of the lore. Fair enough. That would make sense, though. Yeah. Especially why they win. Yeah. <clears throat> Civil War, or no, a regular war in the Balkans. It looks like Bulgaria versus Romania, uh, Serbia, and Greece. Classic. The old matchup. <laughs> Standard, standard day at the office over there. Russia is still just kind of hanging out. They're sending help to the American yeah. Union state. Hey, hey yeah. good, good on Russia. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I guess we should start researching maybe... Let's research some trucks. Or, I don't know, uh, land can... doctrine. Finally... Do some uh, Australian road trips. I set us down the path of uh, firepower on uh, our like land doctrine. Because we don't have the manpower for anything else or the tanks to do mobility. So I feel like that's the best option. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah. I just realized um, we pissed off people in chat last time. Because as Russia in Civilization VI, we invaded the Netherlands. And now we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all coming full circle. Yeah. Times can never truly change. Uh, Civil War in Spain, it looks like the communists are going to win there too. Oh, uh, the governor of, of uh, New South Wales died. He was responsible for evacuating a lot of colonies in the East Indies while saving thousands of lives, as well as the British Pacific Fleet. Huh. Seemed like a good man. Yeah. You know, I, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of coming around to the victory of the guard. <laughs> You're really liking the guard all of a sudden? Yeah, like, let's let's bring back the Empire, man. Sure, why not? I don't know, we probably shouldn't because that'll mean we're allied with Canada and Canada's gonna get screwed over just like we did. How do you, how do you know that? Maybe they're more competent than we are. Impossible! <laughs> Look at that border. That's bo that border is way better lined with troops than it was. It really is. They got armored divisions. They got... Oh, wow. They're doing way better than we did. Fully protected border. No one's getting over this time. Not like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's just see how it goes and we'll play it by ear. It looks like the American Union States kind of getting screwed, though. They're pushing into Texas a bit. And who knows? 
So Attila the Buns here answered uh, my question from earlier. Uh, yeah. The same things will happen every game with differing results because the focus trees don't change. That's why the north is always syndicalist and other things. Yeah, more or less. Although sometimes you can prevent the Civil War altogether. That's super rare, though. Really? Or yeah. America that, just surrendered. Yeah. So it's down to... Then there were three. Dun, dun, dun. And I think that's going to free up the north to take over the south. Yeah. It's still, it's still a lot closer than I'd ever expect. They're, they're like holding back on. And forth. We're almost done the uh, economy tree, by the way. Have you ever played as America? Yes, I have. I've played How as pretty much go? everyone. Uh, what I like to Except do... Except Australia. That's true. Ever since I figured out you could do it, I always skip the Civil War, and then you're this like huge economy that can do whatever you want, and I usually take over Germany because fuck those guys. Uh -huh. You should play as uh, Huey Long. <laughs> that would be neat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I could win, though. That's the trick. Yeah, that would be difficult, to say the least. Um, there's been times I've been screwing around in this game where I really want the south to win. So I'll load a save as the north, delete all their like oh, all their yeah. army, and the Union State will still <laughs> lose. Rig it. Oh yeah. my god. Because they can pump out stuff amazing. so fast. That's so sad. Or maybe it's the AI that isn't great. Oh, um, the Ukrainians are kind of fucked again. Ooh, wait, Nukes Den is saying there's an event chain for one of four presidents that allows for civil war to be avoided, and it requires assassination of Donald Trump. I mean, Huey Long. <laughs> yeah, you have to elect, I think, the Republican, and then, like, you got, there's this, like, chain of events you need to go down. Where, like, you got to invite one guy to talk, but then not invite the other guy, and then, like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, hey, uh, the Dominion of India wants to declare war on Nepal, and we are totally in. Ooh, hell yeah. I mean, we get some manpower, I think, and uh, this isn't going to happen. Like, this is, doesn't affect us at all, so we can just kind of... Yeah, just reap the rewards. Yeah. You know what we could do? We got some extra planes. How about we send our Air Force over there and get some experience there? Yeah, sure. Like, do, do your uh, divisions and whatnot get experience from combat and um, I... become better? I don't know about aircraft. I know you can develop aces, which are, like, super pilots, so we can do that, hopefully. Okay, nice. Oh, we got low stability. Shit. Oh, okay. Wait, this is kind of weird. Now we're at war with, uh... Okay, it's everybody versus Nepal. That's fine. What did Nepal do? What, how did this happen? Good question. What doesn't Nepal do? I don't Am know. I right? That guy wanted us to invade Bhutan. We're getting closer. <laughs> yeah, actually. <clears throat> All right, we're bombing Nepal. <laughs> That's good for us. Yeah. Actually, I'm not entirely sure how much experience these guys get. It might just be um, aces. I know that divisions get experience, but I don't know about aircraft. Okay, fair enough. How does the aces work then? You just are they like separate from the rest of? Um, you the... assign them to a uh, air fleet or whatever, and they'll just do better overall. I think. Okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, the capital of Nepal is Kathmandu, but it, I always read it as Klandathu from Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it pronounced Kathmandu? I thought I thought you didn't pronounce the H. It's oh, don't just you? Kathmandu. Kathmandu. You're probably right. That's how know. I've done it. Kathmandu. Kath. Yeah, you're right. I think you're right. Oh, let's just call it Klandathu. Yeah, that's better, anyways. It's an ugly war. A bug war. <laughs> <laughs> if the Indians take over this northern airfield, we can move our planes up and bomb more stuff. I still don't know entirely why we're attacking these people. Why does any war start truly? Yeah. Because the folly of man. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> I know you would. Ugh. Okay, I feel like we got enough factories. Time to import some oil. Let's do this. 
The smart money is probably on Russia because they're not going anywhere. To Janus with the 10 bits. Thank you. Paul sent the asteroid confirmed. So wait, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm just uh, trading to get all the resources we're currently lacking. That'll boost our production. It's going to cost oh, okay. us like 10 factories, but at this point we can spare it. Ooh, okay, we've also okay. finished the economy tree. I think next up we should do the uh, um, science tree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fish Warden, I was waiting until that thing uh, unlocked itself or whatever, so I would only have to trade the minimum amount of resources. So fuck you, I had a plan. <laughs> I said I might have a surplus of tungsten, so maybe I didn't have a plan. Except I'm not trading for tungsten. So I th yeah, I think I'm good. I'm doing everything right. It's, it's one thing we know about Swiss. He always has a plan. Yes. Yes. Oh, Iran is declaring war on the Ottoman Empire. Iran oh, really? went communist, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the Ottomans are at war with Egypt, uh, whatever version of Libya this is, Saudi Arabia, Iran, so the Ottomans are probably going to get fucked, I think. Okay. Fish Warden says I might have to spend political power. I think I already did. Yes, I did. Till the buns recommend we should always go for research slots slots or research time reduction bonuses as early as possible yeah we probably should have right oh well it makes sense i suppose yeah for sake. but uh yeah portugal joined the winning team in our fight against nepal <laughs> i'm glad we have the the great nation of portugal on our side we have this like grand coalition of everybody it's kind of nuts yeah it's it's really weird, actually. Just just because they hate Nepal or what? I have I no know. idea. It's Nepal versus Portugal, India, the West Indies, Canada, Jesus. Australia, New what England, Sardinia, French Republic. What did they do? Did, uh, is the ruler of Nepal just the new Hitler? I don't know. Hey, but slip slap. Happy Australasia Day. Hey! Pew, 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 he might be the new Nepal Hitler. Works. <laughs> He's looking kind of kind of shady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd I'd, I'd go to war with that guy. Yeah. yeah. He's got almost the mustache. Pathetic attempt. Oh, I think we got an explanation here. Nepal took land from the Dominion of, Ind uh, Dominion of India during the fall of the empire in 1935, and now we're getting it back. 1925. Okay. Nice so we're taking back our land from the Nepalese. <laughs> and because India is part of the alliance, that means every country gets involved. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Although the communists are also mad at Nepal. <laughs> so, who knows? Is this going to be like a Gaza Strip situation right now? Possibly. Got to take sides. Our air force is looking a bit better. We got a fleet of bombers. We got some fighters. Got some naval bombers. Like they're all old as shit, but you know. Oh hey, uh, we, At least we, we have. achieved victory over Nepal. We can try to seize territories for ourselves, but seeing as we did nothing, we won't get away with it. So we'll just say done. <laughs> of course, yeah. Oh man, the commune took it over. Oh wait, what? Yeah, it looks like the uh, the Indian communists did more fighting than us, so they took over all of Nepal's land. Uh... Our stability increased. Uh, so did we gain anything at all from that? Not really. Bit of experience. Had some laughs. <laughs> As we bombed people's homes. Yeah. Got some laughs. <laughs>, uh, th 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 there's some protests going on. The paternal autocrats getting mad about something. Time to start researching more stuff. Better guns, maybe. Maybe more planes, except we're still far away. Okay, we'll do, uh... We'll increase the infantry just a bit. Get some better guns, that sort of thing. 
Fair enough. Better guns for our future marines. Yes, we'll also keep going on doctrine. I always like doing infantry doctrine because it takes so long. So you might as well just devote one thing to it all the time. Oh, hey, there's a nationalist coup in Belarus. Or Belarus. Belarus. Whatever. Belarus. Belarus. <laughs> so will they stick with the Germans? They did not. That's interesting. Except the Germans just took over Ukraine completely. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Wait, how did that happen just now? What 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 did we miss? Oh, uh, well, I mean, it used to be that all these countries were allied with the Germans, so all they had to do was march through, take over the Ukraine, and they could take it over themselves. Um, so they might liberate it into a new Ukrainian... Oh, wait, Ukraine still exists. It's just reduced to this rump state, but Khrushchev is still in power. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> Look at him go, yeah. The war in the Middle East is... Uh... Yeah, it's going okay. Iran is just slowly moving in from the east, it looks like. And the south is still holding on, and so are the Pacific states. Look at that. Oh my god. That's uh, impressive. Yeah. Okay. What to research now? Um, the Marines are done. So maybe Navy stuff? We should probably get better boats. Oh, we already got some good ones. Okay. Uh... I don't know. We gotta get the navy going. Let's do light cruisers. We'll work our way up to the more complex stuff. Sure, sure. We're building four destroyers a year right now, so that's okay. I'm gonna put them in Victoria. Every time you, th you say Victoria, I always immediately think of Canada's Victoria. Yeah. Too many Victorias. Yeah. See, what worries me is if we join the uh, Imperial Science Council or whatever, aren't we going to lose that as soon as we go to, uh, you know, Nationalist? Probably. Yeah, I would I would assume so, yeah. <clears throat> but is it worth it in the meantime? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, we probably should have done it two years ago when we started, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What other Paradox games have you played? Uh, Ooh, um, Swiss? Hearts of Iron 3, but I was never good enough to really get into it. Uh, Stellaris is, like, the big one. Um, what else? Oh, I did, like, um, Darkest Hour, which was, like, this weird oh, kind yeah. of spin-off thing. That's where Kaiserreich, I think, was originally from. Um, and there's other ones, like Battletech is technically Paradox, and same with, like, Planet Coaster, whatever that game was called. The, the, the... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Did they publish it? I think so. Uh, it, was a, it was a British company that developed Oh, wait, it. maybe it wasn't. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of City Skylines, which I actually haven't played. Oh, uh, so... okay. Yeah, that yeah. is, yeah. That's Paradox. You're right, though. That's yeah, that's... Yeah. For me, it's pretty much just um, Stellaris, and I've dabbled a little bit in Crusader Kings 2, but that game goes way over my head all the time. So yeah, that game is nuts. Just a <laughs> <laughs> there was some guy who, like, through this, like, complex maneuvering, like, made a horse the ruler of the Roman Empire or something. <laughs> That's exactly why I love those games, but yeah. I just, I can't do that shit myself, so it's just more fun to watch. Hey, there's a general strike going on. Just, uh it. Just in general. Just yeah. People are just mad in general. The labor situation worsened, worsened in Australasia today as the ACTU called for illegal strikes around the country to protest poor working conditions and the continued suppression of unions. Some are calling this a ploy for support. Huh. Who knows? Oh my. Research-wise, we're going to get a national university to... Uh, yeah, get us better research. So, so that people can actually figure shit out? Yeah. Duh. We're gonna start a university. That's <laughs> yeah, kind of funny. I hope it's not an uh, like an art school. That won't. Ooh, help. no, it won't. <laughs> I've brought us up to partially mobilized, which I think should help us out a bit. What? Uh, what does it? What does it do? Oh shit! We have no factories building other factories. How did that happen? Do we spend everything we had on? Probably on all that trade. Yeah. We'll worry about that later. 
Sorry, what were you asking? Uh, what does the uh, partial mobility thing you were talking oh, about? Oh, it means that do? less factories are being used to produce consumer goods and more towards like military production and civilian production. Like, but our brand uh, okay. of civilian production. I think I got to cancel some of our exports. Like, we got like a lot of planes. We're probably fine on that a bit. So, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you make those choices. I have no idea. I have no uh, frame of reference for any of the numbers. Neither do I. In the game. <laughs> We're also going to join the air training scheme just to get some bonuses before we leave. Okay, one thing we do need is oil because that's where we, our ships are using. So. We'll yeah, get that natural. going back. And our planes would use oil as well, wouldn't they? Yeah. Everything uses oil. Yeah, exactly. We'll get it from Venezuela. Okay, and then I think we should probably start building marine divisions. That's the way to go. We'll start with five. Except we don't have any manpower, so shit. That was dumb. We can't afford to build anything, Mr. Corey. I don't know what to do here. What happened? Um, hmm. I don't know. Shit. We need more factories. That's what we need. Hopefully that 39 thing will save us, because right now I'm like, ah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how far are we from the action of 39? Uh, I think we go one more year. Well, alrighty then. What do we do for a year? I don't know. Just talk. <laughs> what are you thinking <laughs> about? <laughs> yeah. How was your year? What are your New Year's resolutions? Oh, this is interesting. Austria took over Romania and then gave it back to Romania. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, Austria has actually unified a large part of Southern Europe. Wow. Well, look, at, look at them go. Yeah, I missed that. Okay. That, that's pretty cool. They can actually unify into a central state, but I don't know if they'll be able to do it this game. Why not? What does it oh, there's take? different paths, and sometimes they don't want to do it. They still could, though. Who knows? Fish Warden uh, recommends we should just stop building planes and start stockpiling infantry equipment slash support equipment. That's that way you're right, using yeah. less resources that you don't have, and you're more ready for when you want to start building marines. That is a good call. I should have done that, yeah. Alright, that's what we're doing. Alright. Fish Warden will guide us. I thought I was good at this game, but maybe I'm only good at this game and I'm playing huge countries that can afford massive amounts of incompetence and still win. <laughs> yeah. AKA Russia. Yeah, like you I can have like forty thousand extra rifles being produced every day and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Make sure to revise your trade deals to get some of your resources back, too. Yeah. Some of your factories, I mean. Uh, I don't know. I think we only got one trade deal, and that's for oil, which we need, so. Yeah, I think you kind of already covered that earlier. Yeah. We got some of our factories back, though. We got up to nine now. How's America doing? Huh, still, still going at it. <laughs> wow, they might they might have their own World War II going on just there for the whole game. You know, good for like. them. Oh, this concerns us. Though the situation in Japan has been critical ever since the peace with honor, with numerous economic crises, unrest, and an ineffective response to German interventions in China, leading to the collapse of the autocratic Tanaka regime, the Empire of the Rising Sun managed to bounce back albeit as only a regional power with its influence limited to East Asia. However, the Japanese seem determined to put this weakness to rest and have now announced their ambitions of seizing their place among the great powers once again. By force, if necessary, Germany, with its own sphere in Asia, is unlikely to receive this news warmly. So Japan is, you know, doing stuff. Yeah, they're, they're getting ready. <laughs> what are your intentions with my Asia? <laughs> Uh, to celebrate, let's uh, research computing. Okay, here we go. Rise of the Australasian Guard. In response to the general labor unrest which has been plaguing Australasia since the last election, Eric Campbell today made an impassioned speech 
calling for united, determined, and firm action on the part of the loyal citizens of Australasia. He says the government has failed in its mandate, and that unless severe measures are taken, all of Australasia will succumb to chaos and the tide of syndicalism, which is washing across the world, blah, blah, blah. This world's caught the attention of many, and many, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, the national populists, the guard, are uh, taking shape. Ooh, finally. Yeah, although I don't think we want the guard, we want the other guys, right? I don't know, you said you were all up in the guard for a minute? Yeah, I was all up in the guard for a minute, but... <laughs> but just a minute. Yeah. Uh, Attila the Buns is saying, We seem to underestimate how easy it is, even as a weak nation, to turtle and wear down your enemy. Well, we tried that last game, and we were right across the street from America. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, like, we couldn't declare one anybody if we wanted to, right? Because we're a democracy, so. Yeah, that's that's very true. To Janus with the 12 bits. Nice. Or, wait, Shlim Shlams. I guess I have to call him that, too. Yes, you do. <laughs> Greater East Australasian co-prosperity sphere when? 1939. That's when the action starts. We're hoping. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, Russia is still not doing nothing. Except they're allied with uh, Belarusia. Good for them. They're making it. They're making it after all. I'm actually... Yeah. I can't decide if I'm disappointed with Russia not doing anything with the game, <laughs> or if I'm just kind of interested in the fact that it's so different than, than usual, I'd say. Oh, uh, the Dominionists won victory in South Africa. And Atlanta fell to the north, so the, the south is, is doomed. Oh. Uh... Uh, oh, yeah, our economy's doing a bit better, thanks to Canada. I feel bad. Canada's been helping us out a ton, and now we're going to abandon them? <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know you were fascists, eh? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah. Just take her easy. <laughs> Canada better get a move on because, I mean, they're going to go the way of us last game. You think so? Well... Yeah, probably. I mean, it's almost just frustrating how uh, just having so many factories just like automatically wins you any war. I think we've uh, avoided the emu war. Oh my god. Wait, is this the same emu war that's famous? Yeah, I hope so. I bet it is. They asked for planes to drop small bombs on large gatherings, along with soldiers armed with machine guns to shoot down the rest. Similar to the failed attempt in <laughs> 1932. Oh man. Fucking like eaters, man. So I think we're just gonna watch the states for a bit here. Watch it crumble. Yeah. So is this like a reenactment of Bernie Sanders at war with Donald Trump? I guess so. But no, at least not really. the closest thing. <laughs> I thought the North mostly went for Hillary. I mean, I, I guess it was all over, right? But Yeah, I know. I'm just making, like, a joke. Jokes about, are funny, Corey. Um, I don't know what you did. Socialism and whatnot. All right. More things. Uh, in another few months, we'll get another research slot, which will be good. Haven't picked. Uh, haven't checked on South America. Nothing really seems to be happening. Yeah, we haven't. <laughs> have we paid any attention at all to South America? No. But you know, you got the standard South American experience. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Seems seems fine. Just fine. Fine. The Black Winds. Are you part of the Kaiserreich team? I think he might be. And if so, that's pretty cool, because this mod is amazing. Yeah, that would be really cool. Let's 
So as you know, Kaiser Reich is a mod where, uh, you know, what if the Germans won World War I? Um, but I found out recently there's another mod called Führer Reich, which is what if the Germans lost World War I? <laughs> <laughs> Great what if indeed. I haven't looked into it, but I hope it's just like the regular game with no changes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the greatest mod. Yeah. Something's happening in India. Apparently Black Winds is a member of the team, and funnily enough, he developed South America that we were just dissing. Oh, you remember shit. This? Telltale game style. <laughs> Uh-oh. That means he'll bring it up once later in a conversation, and then it'll never matter again. Oh, good. I mean, we can deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the best mod there is, so... Thanks for working on it, guy, because it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's very, very cool. Just the amount of, of detail in it is extraordinary. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, and we weren't even dissing Lord. South America. We just said we had the standard South American experience. I don't think that's a diss. Yeah, you feel like he's he's really just projecting, you know? His own insecurities onto us. Yeah. <laughs> on on South America, yeah. Our popularity is low. There's a downfall in stability. Shit. Who is the current leader of Austria? Austria? Australasia? Is uh, is the guy's ex baby. Yeah. Oh right, the great, the great name, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but who we're what, deliberately what undermining. Oh, uh, Social the conservative. Yeah, the I United see. Australian Party, United Australasia Party, yeah. who were deliberately undermining so that way we can switch in 1939. <laughs> yeah, uh, undermining ourselves. Oh shit! Stuff happened in Brazil. I was so oh, South America is super interesting. Oh my God. Wow, I've never I've never seen this before. Uh, South America is really the greatest continent there is. Whoever worked on South America in this mod is extraordinary. Okay. Yeah, they should be real proud. Oh, hey, this is us. Up until this point, the Australasia First Movement, led by Percy Stevenson, has been considered a fringe movement filled with disaffected socialists. With the rise of chaos inspired by syndicalist forces and with its fortunes of the Austro blah, 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 blah. So basically, the AFM is coming to prominence here. Hell yeah, it's time. It's to time hell to with shine. the British and the Empire. That's treasonous talk is what it is. <laughs> so we have the United Communes of Brazil versus regular Brazil. What, uh, what's the difference here? What, One is the United Communes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Always. And they're led by Luis Carlos Prestes. Good name. Yeah. Okay, we finally get an extra research slot. I should have done this way long ago, but I'm just finally getting around to it now. Uh, yeah. The faster research? Yeah, well, more research. Okay. It gives us another slot so we can get four things going at once instead of just three. We have 1,000 extra men, so we're, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, hey, Japan nice. declared war on China. Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna... Take Manchuria, I suppose. Well, they already got Manchuria, so now they're going after the main bit. Beijing and all that uh, stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah. Interesting, if true. Is King the main bit? What, yes. Uh, what, what are the... <laughs> it's just split up so much. Yeah, you got a bunch of Chinas. Uh, you got King or Ming or wherever it is, which is like the remnants of old China or China of old. Uh, the bottom part yeah, is yeah, this like dynasty. Yeah, uh, the bottom part is this German mega corporation, which just rules in the name of Germany. Um, <laughs> nice. And they got like a bunch of warlords to the to the west or east or whatever direction this is. I uh, I honestly appreciate that they're called cliques. Yeah, like it's high school and it's just like the jocks <laughs> or the ma clique. And I feel like that was what it was like in real life, wasn't it? W weren't there? I mean, you know about that stuff more than I do. Uh, no. Not really. I uh, I only really know uh, the Three Kingdoms era and like somewhat before and after. Not not much else. And there was no high there's, school. There's a lot in the of Three Kingdoms. Uh, not in name, but uh, <laughs> I mean the Three Kingdoms were were literally three clicks. So gotcha. I guess it works out. I'm putting some of our production into light cruisers. 
I'll assume that's a good thing that we want. Maybe not. I don't think we have enough shipyards to make it worthwhile, but I'm doing it anyways. Oh, okay. Well, then. The war in the Middle East is just a mess. Uh, the fart cloud's back. Oh, yeah, here we go. America is, is almost done. Black winds. Sao Tso never invited me to prom, and now I'll attack him. <laughs> Three kingdoms in a nutshell. Yeah, so that means Canada is not long for the world. Uh, I think the syndicates are just going to immediately turn on them next. I think so. Because Canada has seized both Alaska, New England, and probably the Panama Canal. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. So it's going to be like, Australia, Canada calls for aid. And just be like, ah, see ya. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Oh, no, so, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Canada's too nice. Oh <laughs> uh, no, we got that trade tariff war currently with the U.S. We do, and British Columbia if you're in Alberta. <laughs> Over that yeah, pipeline that's true. thing. That, that's, that's like an in. That's it's not yeah. federal. Really. Well, I guess it is now, isn't it? Federals I, are taking I, over. I think that. so. I, I wasn't following it completely, but I know that like British Columbia was simultaneously suing us for our oil, and also so we couldn't give them oil or something. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know that at all, but I that would I wouldn't doubt it. Honestly. I think what happened was we wanted to build a pipeline through the Rocky Mountains to transport oil to British Columbia so we can export it. Yeah. And they were against Trans it. So then we restricted our oil from them entirely, and then they were like, "You have to give us our oil." It was just what a mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we are both from uh, Alberta. Attila the Buns. In the Dominion of Canada or Commonwealth of Canada if you prefer, or just Canada. Hence our biased views on British Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> I lived in BC for a bit. It was okay. I actually really like BC. Me I lived too. there too. Yeah. Huh. Pretty shitty rivalry we got with them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the Canadian way. That we shit all over them. And then we, well, you know, they're actually great. I yeah. love them. I do love how, like, everybody in Canada hates everybody else in Canada, but it's like there's escalating degrees, you know? So it's like, yeah. if you're in Alberta, you hate every, all the other provinces. But if you're in Calgary, you hate Edmonton and vice versa. It's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I feel like Calgary hates Edmonton a lot more than Edmonton hates Bullshit. Calgary. Bullshit. You're from Edmonton, more or less, aren't you? Yeah, I, I grew up there for many years. So you should child. know that it sucks more than anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, Edmonton does suck, but what I'm saying is that Calgary cares about that rival rivalry way more than Edmonton does. No, Edmonton's just trying to play it down. They care probably more than us because they suck, but they're, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're, right. they're trying to take the high road, but they can't because they suck. I think I think you're projecting now. Maybe. Charles <laughs> Finerbrook backs the guard. Um, so, yeah, got that going for us. This does not bode well. It doesn't. Also, who was that? Who Some was guy. guy. I forgot to read, <laughs> okay. actually. And uh, yes to Alt Calador, maybe Salador, maybe. Uh, Alberta are the rednecks of Canada, right? And you are right. Uh, this is basically the south of Canada. Yeah, but our mayor is like the first Muslim mayor of a major city, I think, in North America. So we're like pretty good still. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're still not like, we're still not Alabama or anything. I but feel like there's a sliding a scale of... <laughs> yeah, in terms of Canadian provinces, we are as redneck as they come. I feel like probably the Maritimes are in there too, though. Uh, yeah, they're like this weird version, though. Yeah, like they're they're not traditional cowboy rednecks like we are, but they're they're like this whole other version of redneck, I guess. I just oh, the American Civil War has ended. The CSA is in charge. I feel like we're progressive Texas in that we got the oil, we got the cattle. But, you know, we also don't... We, we, we got nothing against gay people and Muslims and such. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, some do, actually. If you get out of the city, uh, Ooh, in yeah. Alberta cities, then it, it becomes real bad, honestly. Yeah. Okay, uh, there's a scandal. There's a corruption investigation. Things are looking bad. There's just about to be an election, and the popularity of the reigning government has plummeted, so... <clears throat> Yeah. 
Canada's about to be screwed over. I think we should abandon the uh, Entente and get the hell out of here. It is time. Very low popularity. Uh, Game Killer Forty Eight is asking, uh, "What do you think of the Canadian flag? What with your uh... oh yeah, Canadian flag is one of the best there is." Yeah, I'm a fan personally. Yeah, the maple leaf is awesome. One thing they did do was there is this proposal. I think you've seen it where like they were going to include um, blue stripes uh, alongside yeah, the I've red seen ones. That. Yeah, um, and I think the the rationale was like the stripes would be one third the size of the red stripes to be like kind of a, a margin uh, or like a ratio between the English speaking and can and French speaking. I wasn't a fan of that so much because that ratio can change and it also infers that the English people are better than the uh, French people just because there's more of them. So yeah, should have been equal size, but that doesn't look as good. So what can you do? Something's happening. The union of Burma canceled the non-aggression pact with us. Okay. Who cares? Attila the Buns brings up a good point that Texas is the same way. The cities are fine with everyone, but it gets bad in the rural areas. Yeah, that's true. Then, I think it's just rural versus urban everywhere, right? Yeah, and I would agree. But uh, in terms of like uh, population density, or not even density, just population in general, um, if you go outside the cities in Alberta, you get like groups of thousands, and it's virtually no one. They may be a lot more racist, but uh, there's it's, the population is significantly smaller. Whereas I think in the U.S. in general, uh, if you leave cities, you still have large populations ah, I hear you. almost everywhere. At least that's my thoughts on it. So there's some sort of like limit population-wise, and we have a lower limit? I don't know what the hell we're saying. <laughs> no, like, um, and like, uh, uh, it, it's, it's my assumption, more or less. Okay, no, I got um, you. You're saying smaller communities tend to be more racist, but the definition of a smaller community is larger in the states because they got more population, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I can buy that. Maybe we should stop talking about racism, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one. And just labeling entire communities. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I don't want to say the South is racist. I'm just saying, like, odds and shit. Isn't like Atlanta though like one of the most progressive places in the in the country right now? Just because some re like I don't know that's what I heard. Yeah, you might be right. I'd like to visit the states more. I've only been there a few times, and I was too young to know anything. Were we gonna take a trip there once? We were. We were gonna go pick up a vending machine, but they they sold out just as soon as we were gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. That would have been awesome. If it ever comes back in stock, we might be able to do it, but... Uh, Absolutely, I'm still down for it. Yeah. Alright, we're almost at 39. Ooh, the time is almost... Oh, there we go! Happy Yay! New Year! <laughs> okay, uh... The United Australian Party facing dwindling support, blah 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 blah. They want to do some sort of coalition between the UAP and country. Uh, we could just sabotage ourselves further and say no. <laughs> do we need to go even further? Uh, yeah, let's role play a bit here. Yeah, okay. Australia is falling apart, folks. It's time I mean, it's for those guys. Yeah, it's time for what are they called? The a AFM? Who is, who's the AFM again? <laughs> We've already forgotten our... The, the yeah. Alright, Beijing has fallen to the Japanese or somebody. Uh, who is the AFM? American First Movement, I assume? Oh, like what their... What their name actually means? Is yeah, that... yeah. Yeah, it was Australasia First, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm fine with it. Australasia First Movement is what the Black Winds is saying. Oh, hey, Attila the Buns, uh, Templin Institute does have a Discord. Uh, I believe it's just called Templin Institute, isn't it? Yeah, there should be a link in the uh, in the Twitch description here if you just scroll down a bit. Hey, Schlip Slap, happy Australasia Day. Yay! It's my favorite day. The country has been through some rough times, most notably our leadership. We should have a uh, America First party in Australasia. Did I say America First? <laughs> I, I guess. I, I think you did. Oh, shit. 
America first, yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. We're running for president of Australia on the Fuck Australia platform. <laughs> yeah. No, that's funny. America. <laughs> America, boy, cracky. All right, hope the elections start up soon. I guess we should get some tanks going, just some light ones we can put alongside of marines. Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna Preferably see Probably if... things that won't get stuck in forests and shit. I have it on good authority, there is a link to the Discord in our Twitch description, so... Yeah, there should be. Head there. Oh, and Fish Warden just uh, dropped a link, so that's also there. We're a good community, we got some fun stuff happening. Sometimes. We got a bunch of rifles and support equipment being produced, so that's good. Yeah, what's uh what's our current plan right now? We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Um soldiers like Lieutenant John Rico. <laughs> oh, uh some guy wrote a book. It's an alternate history in which the Allies won World War One. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's writing a book on our lives. Well, many criticize it for large flaws in historical logic. <laughs> <laughs> Remark defends his tale saying that something like this could have happened in another universe. What a childish fantasy indeed. It was a better world. All right, we've explored some... Uh, Okay, we've done most of the science stuff. We got ourselves a bit more oil. I'm going to skip the last two because it's going to be a while before we do rockets and uranium. Uh, and a genocide. A genocide cheered. I don't know. I think we should do state of the army so we can get that, uh, um, remove the uh, mobilization thing or the manpower thing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, going to read out to Janice's cheer of 10 shlim shlams. I like that even because the author is the guy who wrote All Quiet on the Western Front in real life. Yeah, there's a ton of like historical references in this. And like they go out of their way to make sure that no major historical people from our timeline ever really achieve positions of power in this one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Just like I'm make it the exact opposite. I I think, yeah, Beria was the head of the KGB in the Soviet Union and he's the leader of Georgia right now, and I think Stalin is like part of his cabinet or something. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Hitler died in World War One in this timeline. Yeah. Everyone else, I'm I'm not sure what happened there. Although uh, I don't know if he counts as a major player, but Mackenzie King is still well. He was uh, the, the Prime Minister of Canada in this. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what America's up to. They're just kind of laying low. Yeah, um, maybe they're working on that wall between uh, Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> the war in China is going well for Germany. Yeah, how are things going? Um, it's a bit of a mess across the coast. It's between, like... The Chinese... Oh, here we go. The election has started. Okay, hey, so... Here we go. Uh, are we going for the radicals? Aust Australasia first? Australasia first, man. Okay, this is going to really ruin us. Been. It's going to ruin our stability by minus 10% uh, and an additional minus 20%. Um, but fuck it, let's do it. Do it. Percy Stevenson, he's our man. America first! It. Australasia first! <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a sweet new flag, which looks pretty sweet. I'm a fan of that. Hey, yeah, not bad. Victory for the AFM. The Republic of Australasia, baby! Nice. Our stability has, has crumbled now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> our, uh, our country is falling apart. Yeah.
Okay, we just need to uh, make it through this choice here and we can start doing some political stuff. Yeah. Now we can uh, declare war all willy-nilly too, can't we? I'm Are not we entirely still... sure. Yeah, we're still technically a democracy, aren't we? We do elections anyway. I think we can get rid of those elections, I think. Okay. Actually, now would be a good time to go down the tech tree and see what our options are. Does it change? Uh, well, I mean, we've unlocked the AFM, so... Uh, oh, yeah, for the AFM tree, yeah. Yeah, we can cut ties with the crown. Huh. Seize total control, da 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 Then we can restore order. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to remain a democracy. Fair enough. And white Australasia? Oh my god. Oh, that's actually a good thing. Okay. We can uh, join up with Japan if we want. Mm, but Japan and, and us, we're kind of fighting for the same Yeah, area. that's very true. And thanks to GameKiller48 for subscribing. So if we ally with Japan, then we really can't do anything, I would assume, but maybe send help to places. Yeah, the worry would be if we ally with Japan and then declare war on Indonesia, maybe they can take it over before we can, then we lose everything. Let's go on our own. That's the whole point of our, our philosophy, right? Yeah, 100%. Australasia first. Australasia first! Boy, crocky! <laughs> and we've been going for two hours. Um, oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Seize total control. Um, the first step in restoring order is eliminating the endless debate and controversy that surrounds Parliament. The AFM requires total control in order to enact its mandate, and if that means ending elections to impose much-needed reforms, then so be it. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. No more elections. Australasia fast. And actually, Mr. Slipstaff, you got to actually leave in about an hour, right? So should we start winding this down? Yeah, I think so, for sure. Okay. Well, I think now is as good a time as any. We've established the Republic of Australasia. Australasia first. Boy, crikey, gotta take over Indonesia. Yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna save it here. And there we are. All right, so thank you for joining us. We have a couple things coming up uh, before we go here. Um, on Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a game of Battlestar Galactic uh, Deadlock. You know, the one I play with Space Dock where I sometimes win. And we might have a special guest. I don't want to say anything, but this is an actual special guest, not like Schlipschlap here, like someone actually cool. <laughs> yeah, someone actually special. Yeah, so we'll see you on Wednesday. And then um, we got to finish this game before Larissa gets back because I don't think she's a big fan. So we might do a couple freestyles this week in which we'll continue the Australasia campaign. Otherwise, we'll be back in one week for Grand Strategy Saturdays. Until then, Mr. Schlipschlap, thanks for joining me. Thank you for letting me join you. Well, had to do something. Couldn't just be me. <laughs> Never. Alrighty, and thanks everyone else for, for watching. Uh, we'll be back. Cheers, guys. So long.